Hello, Floss Tube friends. My name is Megan, and this is Stories and Stitches. Welcome back. This is Floss Tube episode 14, and I am recording this on November the 12th. Uh, I hope <laughs> you have had a wonderful week, a wonderful stitchy week, um, and that the beginning of November has treated you well. So you will notice that once again, I am in a different location. Uh, I am testing out filming down here in my basement, which is actually where I tend to have sort of my filming stuff set up more regularly lately. Um, so there's a number of reasons that I'm trying down here. Um, one of them is I'm hoping that if setup is a little easier, I might be able to do a few different videos uh, because I love filming upstairs. I love the natural light of it. Um, but I don't, I can't really leave every, my whole setup set up up there at the moment. So I have to set everything up. And then once I'm finished filming, take everything down, which makes it a bit harder to do sort of more frequent videos or more spontaneous videos even so. And then the other reason I'm filming down here is that there's a few more people at my house today. So it's a little bit quieter down here. Um, so of course the one downside is I don't get quite the nice natural light. So I'm going to be fighting with <laughs> trying not to get too much ring light glare as we go through this. But if I like it, um, and I like how it turns out, hopefully we may, we may stay down here. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, you may also notice that I have my Christmas tree set up. Um, this weekend has been Christmas decorating weekend at my house. We normally do it about the second weekend of the month of November. And yeah, it takes a long time to get the whole house set up and we like to have the decorations up as long as possible to be able to enjoy them. So our house has been fully Christmasified and I figured why not have my tree up in the background because I am getting into that Christmas stitchy mood. With all that, I am going to, I mean, as she rambles, I'm now going to say I'm going to try and keep this video a little bit more short and sweet this week. Last week was a little bit longer. Um, they tend to be longer and I do like long videos, but I've had a pretty busy weekend of Christmas decorating and also I only have a few projects to show you today. So let's see if we can keep this video a little bit shorter, a little bit short and sweet for a change. It's about time <laughs> that we get into the actual stitching and crafting. So I'm going to change things up a little bit. Normally, I leave my other crafts until after the stitching. But for this week, I'm going to show my other craft first because it's the reason why I only worked on four other cross-stitch projects this month. Um, I mentioned last video that I had a baby blanket that I needed to make um, in a shorter time period than I had originally thought. So I started the video or I started the blanket after that video that same day. So I, while I was, I think while I was editing, I was working on knitting <laughs> and I am so excited to say that I finished it. So I started and finished. Let me see. I can roll back a little bit down here. Look at that. I started and finished this baby blanket since the last time you saw me. It took me just over a week. So I started it the Saturday. I finished it last Sunday. Um, and I pretty much, I pretty much did nothing but knit that week. I don't think I worked on a little bit of spooky stitching for Halloween, but other than that, I mostly knit. That is what I mostly did that weekend. I love, let me get it a little closer so you can see. There's the pattern. I love the colors. I love how it turned out. It is such a nice soft yarn. Um, it is Chow Bella, I think, yarn um, in Sailor. I think it's, it might be being discontinued, but 
I love it. I am so happy that I got that finished um, in plenty of time before it needed to be done. So that finish is the reason why I've only worked on four projects. I say only, but I think four projects is a pretty good amount to have worked on in two weeks, considering I also knit an entire baby blanket in that time. So that's my big, big finish for this week. But now let's get into the stitching. Okay, so um, I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to go in the order of how it is on sort of the table beside me today. So hopefully I have, you know, the most basic notes of just my stitch count on my screen in front of me. So hopefully this can go not too badly. So first up, because it's on the top of my pile, <laughs> the, and I even have a board in this first bag. Look at me go. Let me go. Okay, so this project is actually the one I've worked on the most over the last couple weeks. And I had mentioned that I was going to see if I could try and get it finished. So this is the one that replaced Tonight We Ride as my sort of daily 13 days on one project goal because I want to have it finished as soon as possible. So this is Mac Cheese by Mill Hill. So that is how it will look like when it's finished. And here is where it looked the last time that you saw it. And I have done 1,008 stitches on this as of today. I worked on it this morning and I'm probably going to work on it later today as well. So this is where it is now. I have got, at first thought I was thinking I hadn't done a lot of stitching, but a thousand stitches on this little guy. I think that counts as a good amount of progress. Um, so yeah, I finished all the blue is done. This part down here is mostly done. There's a few spots where cheese, little cheese droppings will drop off. This one has been nice because, um, the fandom stitching central prompts for this week or for this month are all color based. So X amount of stitches in blue or X amount of stitches in red or on red fabric. So it's either in red or on that same color fabric. So I've been able to use this one for blue. I've been able to use it for green. There's a little bit of green over here for pink, uh, a little bit of brown and a little bit of gray. And I'll be able to use it for red and yellow and a bit more orange. And um, the nice thing this month is that I can use multiple whips to get each prompt. So I can use those little bits and get this one finished and then move on to something else to get the rest of the stitches done for the prompt. So I'm enjoying that. I am very much hoping to be able to finish this guy this month. I think it should be possible. My month starts to get a bit busy this coming week, but I think he can get done. Might not get much else than him done, but I think I can finish him. That is my first project that I have worked on. Next up on my pile is my <clears throat> Quirky Quaker Bat. Uh, this is, so this is the Quirky Quaker Bat by Darling and Whimsy. I showed you this in a couple videos ago, I think. I don't think it was last video. And here is where it was the last time you saw it. And here is where it is now. It is finished. So this is my... I think my only cross stitch finish in the last, since the last time I saw you it is a bit closer. I do not remember what color it is on. I forgot to look that up. It is a picture of this plus fabric, 14 count. And the floss is a hand dyed by Rolanda. Hand dyed, hand dyed floss. And I'm so excited. I finished him earlier this week. I think it was I pulled him out just after I finished the baby blanket to see if I get done. You'll remember he was one that I had mentioned in my last video that I wanted to get finished by the end of October, which did not happen, but the baby blanket came in the way of that. So it is finished now, and I'm very happy with that one. I put in 266 stitches on this little bat, and um, there are a total of 427 stitches in in the whole project so I haven't decided how I'm going to finish him yet um, but 
like fully finish him. But I'm just happy that he's finished. I love how he turned out. He's so cute. I did have to take out probably 30 stitches while I was working on it though, because I had just come from working on Mac cheese and he's done with three threads. And when I put on a new thread on this one, on my needle, I started it with three and got about 30 stitches in before I realized that it seemed awfully thick compared to the rest of the project. So that was fun. <laughs> At least I realized then and not later. And it was obvious enough that it had to come out. So that is project number two. All right. The third project that I worked on, what is on my table here, is... Just realize, oh, one project is... One project's hanging out on the floor. I realize there's one missing. Anyways, the third project was my Halloween new start. I had mentioned, I think, in that video that I was going to have a new start. I think I even told you which project it was going to be, um, but I did end up doing it. I started it up. Didn't get a ton done, as you'll notice, but I'm pretty happy with how much I got done. I'm just going to pull it out of the bag here. Hopefully, you're not hearing too much crinkling. So, I, it is Halloween at Hawker and Hollow. So this is how it will look when it's finished or approximately because I'm doing this on a different color fabric that you'll see in a minute. And because I'm doing it on a different color fabric, I will probably be doing a conversion as I go. Nothing that I've really thought out too far, but there's a few colors that might not work as well on the color I'm doing. So I will be playing that one a little bit by ear. We'll see how that goes. I am doing this on 16 count. Um, what is it? 16 count haunted by Picture This Plus. And I, it was a new start, as I mentioned. I've started in the top left corner, top left. Yes, top left corner. So up here in this corner with the border, because I'm thinking that if I do some border, I don't know if I'll do the whole border or what, but if I start with the border, I can then kind of go in and decide which of the squares I want to start with or continue with. So here, is where I am so far. So I did uh, 229 stitches into this one. Oh, there we go. And I was working across the border up and down. I think if I'm not mistaken, I am all the way across this square, like this block, and I've come all the way down for this block. So that is where that block will sit. And then because I didn't want to just do border, <laughs> because on my spooky hollow, I just did border this month, and I was almost set to have just done border on this one, and I didn't want to only have done border, so I also put in a little bat. Little bat. I'm happy with that one. Hopefully I'll get more time, like I'll work on it more before the end of the year, but we shall see. I do have spooky stitching coming up tomorrow, so Monday, so it'll have been yesterday by the time you see this, I think, unless I switch things up. Uh, so I may work on this one again. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. I might pull out spooky hollow. I may just work on book cage bookmark. We shall see. It's an option. All right, that is that one. I have a pin here I'm just going to put somewhere. Okay, that is... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Are you... This is on the floor. Of course, that's not everything I worked on because you haven't seen my temperature shelf yet. And we did see it last week, but I was behind. I hadn't done the stitches yet. So I have done those. I am fully caught up. I've done this past week's stitches as well. So you get to see three weeks of stitches, I think, on this one. Here's where it was the last time you saw it. 
and here I'll show you the full thing first it's where it is now we are into November Let me roll it down here a little bit so I have finished the October shell so down over here and you can see that we had a bit of a spike because the red is warmer so we were kind of trending down into the yellows sort of those typical fall colors had a bit of a spike back into red for a couple days and then went down to pretty cold and this dark blue was our low on Halloween so it was pretty chilly on Halloween and then we've moved into the first week of November down here and pretty much still trending towards the colder we've had a few cold days into some blue as our high temperature for a few days there gone up a little bit it's going to be a little warmer but we're still kind of in those low double digits high single digits and definitely dropping down to cooler overnight but look at that we are down on that last set of shelves hard to believe that i am getting to the end of this one um i have enjoyed it quite a lot but there's definitely a lot more stitches in this one than in the temperature quilt I did last year, which I don't think you guys have actually seen. So I may have to show you that one at some point. Okay, that is all of my stitching that I have done so far uh, this month. And I think that might be record time as well for me to show you the stitching that I got done. I'm just speeding along today. Uh, so my plans for the next few weeks are, so it gets a little bit busier, starts to get into that holiday busyness and both of like my nieces, one niece's birthday is the end of November and one is in December. So that also makes it busy. But my plans are I'm going to keep on working on my mac cheese. It's going to keep on getting some work on it. I'm probably going to work on some more Christmas because I'm definitely getting into that Christmas zone and there are a lot of Christmas projects that I want to work on so I'm probably gonna work on more Christmas technically tomorrow is a new moon new start which I haven't actually picked out what project I'm gonna work on for that yet I have an idea I just haven't decided if I'm gonna switch it out for something else or not we'll see we'll see how that goes so I will probably start another project tomorrow I'm going to do some spooky stitching, which is also tomorrow. <laughs> Awful lot of stitching plans for tomorrow. And I don't know what I'm going to work on with that. Um, and then I'm going to kind of keep working on the color prompts for Fandom Stitching Central and see how many of those color ones I can do. The one that's going to be hardest is red, I think, because it's 2,000 stitches on either red fabric or with red floss. And I do have a Christmas project that has red floss, like... Um, well, most Christmas projects have red floss in them that I'm working on. Um, the one I'm thinking is this one, which I've been working on quite a lot. Which I, But I'm worried that I don't think I could get a lot of red in on that one. And the same with Santa's Journey. The red, it takes a while to get it done because there's so much switching. So I don't have a good feeling about that one, but... We'll see how it goes. Other plans are to kind of do a little bit of Sweewee. -wee. I do have my projects sort of listed that I was going to work on and roll between this month. And I may do that. Like I may decide that I want to switch things up and have a little bit of a <clears throat> dice deciding what I work on situation again. Um, I may just do Sweewee. -wee. I would like to finish this one. Book cage bookmark. It is so close. I would really like to get him done. I also have a couple more fabrics pulled to work on a couple more of them for, for Christmas presents and such. So I'd like to do that. Um, and I'd also really like to work on my fox by um, <clears throat> Cottage Garden Samplings. So this one here, the fox, I would, I'd really like to work on him. So he is so far... This is where he is so far. 
he's a bit of a disembodied head and legs over here. Um, but I'd really like to get quite a bit done on him. So he's one that I, uh, it might be overly ambitious, but I'd also kind of like to have him finished by the end of the year. So we'll see if I manage to pick him back up or not. But those are all of my plans for the next couple weeks. Um, it's pretty light. Kind of going to see, see where the wind takes me. Uh, and not put too, too much pressure since there's so much busyness starting up that I kind of want stitching to just be what I want to work on to make me happy that day. So that is all my stitching. I am going to show you a couple finishes that my mom has had. It is time for my mom's finishes. So the first one she finished was, um, what is this called? Maybe Northern, oh, I don't remember the name of this one. It's a Mill Hill kit. It's like a Northern Knights one, Northern, mm. it's a camper, a little camper. So she finished that one. It was, I think her first project where she's worked on beads on it. So that's that one there, which she's turned into a magnet. So it lives on our fridge. And the other one, she started this one in 2021 at some point. I don't know if it was a December 2021 start or earlier in the year, but it is from a magazine, which I can't remember which magazine it is. I don't remember the designer. I'm just, you know, such a great floss tuber over here. But this is her Christmas ladies, vintage Christmas ladies that she has finished and it says may your christmas sparkle with moments of love laughter and friendship um, and i did assist on this one a little bit with this back stitch here these words and these ones down here because the project is um charted to be done on 28 count and because of that as many of you will know Sometimes backstitch lettering gets very challenging because you have to go subdivide squares when you're doing it on 14 counts. So those ones were uh, a little bit challenging. So I did those ones there, but that is her vintage Christmas ladies. And I think it looks so nice. It is done on 14 count. I want to say Fiddler's Cloth Ada. So love it it's so pretty i love these presents and their dresses it looks so good looks so good pulled back on on the screen as well so those were my mom's finishes so you got to see lots of finishes this week all right i think that this may in fact go down as my shortest video yet um I don't even think I have a lot to talk about with stories. Um, I am going to mention a couple things. So uh, for those of, and, but it'll be pretty short. Um, <laughs> but either way, for those of you who are not interested in that section, I will say goodbye to you now. Thank you so, so much for joining. Um, let me know what you think of a shorter video. Um, I know I love a long video, but sometimes it's also nice to have a short video kind of goes back and forth. So let me know what you think of the shorter video. Uh, and let me know, are you getting in that Christmas mode either with your stitching or with your decorating? I know if you are in the US that you still have Thanksgiving between now and Christmas. So I don't know if you are getting as much in the decorating Christmas spirit. Do you, if you are in the US, do you wait? Um, until after Thanksgiving to decorate? Do you still decorate before? Let me know. I feel like there's probably a mix. Um, and just in general, are you getting into that Christmassy spirit, Christmassy mode, either in your stitching or in your decorating, or are you still kind of in fall mode? Uh, do you wait until later in December to get into Christmassy mode? I personally like to get into Christmas. I, I personally, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> start to feel that Christmas decorating Christmassy mode early. Um, I like, it takes so long to put everything up 
as far as our Christmas decorations go that I like to be able to enjoy them for as long as possible without going too, too far into the new year. So anyways, I am rambling now. Thank you so much for visiting with me. Let me know, as I said, your what vibe of stitching you are in right now. And I will see you in my next video. Oh, which reminds me, let's like rewind a little bit before I say goodbye. Um, there is a chance my next video will be a little bit further apart. The next weekend I'm supposed to film is the weekend of the 25th which is pretty busy. So um, I haven't yet figured out if I will be filming that weekend or not. I'm going to try. Um, since I'm set up down here now, it may actually make it easier for me to film that weekend at some point. Um, but there's also a chance that we'll, we'll bump a little bit into the first week of December. But anyways, that is neither here or there. Let me get back to saying goodbye. Have a wonderful stitchy week if you are leaving me now. And for those of you who are sticking around for my very, very short story section, we will head over there now. Right, so as I said, I don't have too, too long for stories. I was going to cut it completely, but you know, might as well spend a couple minutes. I have been very much into playing games right now. So I've been playing a lot of demos. So I went on Stitch, or on Stitch, on, um, blah, 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 what do you call it? Switch store, the Nintendo eShop, and downloaded a whole bunch of games demos. And some of them were meh, but I've had a lot of fun with a couple. So two that I'll mention that I'm probably going to play more of that were just so much fun. One is Dredge, which I think has been out since the spring. And it is like a probably a horror fishing game so you run a boat like a fishing boat and you go out and fish and it's during the day kind of normal fishing um but the, there's some spooky things with the water and if you're out too late it gets kind of spooky and a little bit scary so um that one I had a lot of fun playing the demo I'm probably gonna get the full game and then the other one is another fishing game and I don't normally play a lot of fishing games but I had so much fun. The second one was called Dave the Diver. And I will definitely, definitely be picking that one up. I can't decide if I want it on Switch or on my computer yet. I'm probably going to get it on Switch because I like the handheldness of it. Uh, another fishing game, but you basically play as a diver who is searching for, who is fishing for his sushi shop. Or a sushi shop. He was hired to be the diver. You also then serve the sushi at night. And there are some like fantasy elements and the lake you're fishing in isn't all that it seems. So it's not, I don't think it's quite as spooky, but there definitely are some like risky times. Uh, you have find some fish that are a little bit more aggressive. Um, I'm pretty sure there's mermaids potentially in the water. There's like, it, it's just a really <laughs> different type of game. And I had so much fun playing the demo. I was very sad when it was over. So both of those I will probably be picking up. Those are the two that stand out. I think I've played a couple other demos, um, but those are the two that really, really stood out. So I've been enjoying those. And then also trust trying to get back into some more mystery games, which I love. I'm, I'm a big fan of the mystery, mystery games there. So other than that, I think that's it for stories. I haven't been watching anything all that interesting. Oh, I have been. I've been watching Murdoch Mysteries, actually. Um, so my mom and I have been catching up on Murdoch. We, we got behind over the summer. So like there wasn't any in the summer, but in spring, um, we started to kind of get behind. And then now that it's sort of comfy, cozy season, and we're down here in the basement more often, we're getting caught up. So we're all caught up on last season, which I think is season 16. We got all caught up on that. And then we have two episodes left to get caught up on the most recent season, season 17. So if you aren't familiar, familiar Murdoch Mysteries is a crime show, but it's set in the early 1900s and it's set in Toronto. Ontario in the early 1900s. It's filmed, a lot of it is filmed locally, so both in Toronto and also um, in some of the smaller towns and like closer to where I am. 
Uh, so it's just really good. It's really well done. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, it's one of my favorites right now. So that's what I've been watching. Um, but other than that, I think that's it. I still haven't finished the book I'm reading. It's kind of been one of those, one of those last few weeks, as I said. So, but I think I will stop rambling on and call it a video. Um, I, I'm like so shocked. Like part of my brain is like, keep talking. You've only been talking for half an hour. How could that be? <laughs> um, but I think that I've covered everything. I hope I haven't gone too, too speedy through everything. And like in the hopes of having a slightly shorter video now, just like, whew, um, steamrolled past. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I, if I stick to this format or go back to my super, super long chatty videos, um, later on. But anyways, I will say goodbye to you all now. Have a wonderful, wonderful stitchy week and I will see you next time. Bye.